Welcome everybody to Podcast 1408. We are here with an awesome group to talk about basically everything horror related. We got Aaron. Privet. We got Justin from Cyanime. How's it going? We got Gabe from The Shack. Hey, what's up? Although his shack is in his YouTube channel, because that is Sarah's. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, yeah, Sarah. <laughs> the most beautiful of introductions, thank you. And last, <laughs> but most certainly not least, we've got Thea. Hi, I'm a fan. And today... I feel like I have to say that, like... Oh, boy. <laughs> it's, it's good, yeah, yeah. And today we're all talking about something very, very lovely. Something filled with death, guts, and intestines. We are talking about horror, and we are talking about the strangers. Right, guys? Yeah. Ooh. Hell yeah. Aren't we all strangers? Yeah. That's all. That's what we are. We're all strangers talking on the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Big movie. Then. About the strangers. <laughs> we're here to talk about Stranger Things. Oh, well, you guys may be strangers, but I'm in a car by one of your guys' house right now. You just, you know, you need to figure out now which one, because I am coming for I it. I think I'm the closest one to you. Come on in, you little rascal. Me. The door's hey, unlocked. Man. Why don't you just step on in? What you doing all the way down here? <laughs> Looking right at you, man. What you doing all the way down here? But oh. shotgun, I'm from the south. <laughs> Damn, I forgot <laughs> about that one. That's a real fucking danger. All right. See, that's very much dangerous. See, personally, I'm more worried about the alligators and and the crocodiles from Florida. So, Sarah, you're you're you're, you're safe. I'm not. That's going that's not the only thing you need to worry about when you come to Florida. Yeah, no. Also, white people on bathrooms. <laughs> There's people that, like... that eat your. Yeah, they eat your face. <laughs> <laughs> Most of all, you need to worry about me. Yeah, I, I'm totally totally concerned about a teenage girl, man. That's the one thing I've always been so scared of my whole life. I mean, that's what makes a, you smarter than the rest. There's a friend who is a rat deity. So. <laughs> what? That so is... she works for Chuck E. Cheese, so yeah, I mean, yeah, she's it's a good way of amazing. summing it up. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so... guys, what did you think about the movie? I, I want to know your thoughts. I choose oh. Sarah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Monster. Oh God. Okay. Has... You've been chosen. Well, Cough um... up your words, man. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> Uh, the movie you, starts Pikachu. off, you hear this wacky little 911 call, and she's all scared. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know why you wouldn't know your address, and I thought it would be explained later on in the movie, but instead you have all this suspense going on, and it's crazy, and good. And that's all I have to say. Right. Well, that's... Crazy and good. I <laughs> agree with the thing where, with the phone call not being explained. I, I was confused. But... Wait, you guys are still confused right. on the phone I had that exact same issue. Yeah, cool and nice. Okay. I mean, to me, I thought that meant, like, she I survived. I mean, t towards the, the end, you see, like, she wakes up and I, she's I all like, oh, you but, know. Um, if, you, <laughs> if you notice, it's actually the same actress's voice. Okay. In both parts. I think she could return in, uh, if they make a third movie, I think she could return in that movie. See, Possible. I, I'd always I mean, be too bothered by that, because in the sequel, the sequel... sequel the sequel. Yeah. So yeah, they, they made a sequel. <laughs> Terrible movie. Seen the sequel. I read a... the sequel before I'd seen the first one. Big mistake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I read about the sequel. I know they made a sequel. I, mean, I think <laughs> the, the, the point the of these movies, though, are, is like, it's more real world-ish. Like, yeah, the oh, no. it, it made it a question whether or not that girl survived at the end. Like, they did the final jump scare with her waking up. But I think the whole point of it was to make it more real life that this could happen to anybody at any time. Because there are people like that in the world. But like, I, I believe it was like based. One. I don't know. It was yeah, sort of like based on based a true on story. Based on a natural thing. See, yeah. At, at the intro, yeah, it says based think... on a true story, but it was actually based off of news reports that the person had, uh, that the director mm -hmm. and writer had heard. It's actually very similar to the um, inspiration for Man, Psycho. It's like the book does take inspiration from real events, but it's from a serial killer named Ed Gain who had basically all of the same mental problems. He's the guy who inspired Texas Chainsaw Massacre as well as um, Silence of the Lambs, Buffalo Bill. Because he was making a human suit, uh, a woman's suit out of women's flesh, like from dead and living people. I think I've heard of that. Yeah, it's Ed Gain. Uh, and um, because he wanted to crawl back inside his mother. Now, I've ha I've heard of Oedipusy, who personally. Wouldn't? But uh, why would why would you ever want that? That's that's just. <laughs> um, well, personally, I didn't really like the movie though. It, 
I mean, yeah. really? for, from a technical standpoint, yeah. I thought the movie was like pretty great. The shaky cam yeah. held pretty well to the nervous mm-hmm. visuals. The uh, the way they hid the uh, antagonist's faces yeah. uh, also uh, held to a um, very, very uncomfortable, unknowable tone. Like they were like seriously terrorizing these people, and visually and then, it was displaying that pretty pretty well. Right. The end, the nice? ending, I think helped that with how they. They wanted to show the victims how helpless they were, but they took off their masks. Even though we didn't get to see right. their face, they still took off their masks honest. to that, show that insane. they weren't afraid to, to show themselves to them because they knew that they weren't getting out of it. Exactly. It was a great concept. People are just like so unscared and their motivation mm. amazing. <laughs> you don't need to hey, you do this like... you know, because we can. Yeah. It's 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 uh-huh. insane. You have almost no motive, no reasons, and only one of them even talks, which I think is Dollface, um, the one with yeah. the mask. She said, uh, she said, is Tamara here? Because they were at home. I think she asked, "Why are you doing this?" Because, because you were home. Is that what she's yeah. crap? That's, what, that's one of the best up. lines too, right there. Which is really yeah. fucking uncomfortable. The end. Uh, it's one of the only lines as well. <laughs> yeah, well, the intro stuck with people. I think. I don't know. Can I be completely honest, like completely candid about my 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 feelings for this movie? Mm-hmm. It was it was or, okay. So I started watching right, and it felt like I was taking like a lovely stroll in a countryside town, right? I passed someone's yard and I yawned, and the irrigation system just started spraying liquid shit into my mouth. <laughs> stop! <laughs> <laughs> it felt like my balls were sucked up into a vacuum cleaner. Like honestly. That's the best feeling in the world, dude. Are you kidding me? I don't know, man. Every person's dream. Uh, I have no wish or will to watch the sequel. I would rather sit balls out and uninterrupting guys. I, I, <laughs> of course, it's very predictable. Uh, you know, I had to, like, take down notes to keep myself interested in it. The beginning was slow for me. It was half Yeah, same. Because... It took me an hour to get through the first ten minutes. <laughs> I swear. I, wow. had, I paused it at a point. Yeah, I swear. You guys would not enjoy hereditary. I, I gotta say. <laughs> no, I did enjoy Hereditary. Which you did? Was it was amazing. Yeah, I really liked good. that movie. The first half, so boring. And then she gets beheaded. Yeah, but and then it's, like, it's paid damn. off. That's the difference. <laughs> There's a payoff. <laughs> There's, mm. But, but yeah. it's, it takes you by surprise. And I thought they did something at least similar to that in Strangers. Uh, in the part where his friend comes and he fucking blows his brains out. And it's shocking. It's pretty, it's pretty emotional. And it's See, I pretty agree. well performed. I agree, but on the other hand... N- I get, like, an emotional impact. I felt like you just put it in there for that exact reaction, so you didn't feel authentic. Mm-hmm. On one hand, I agree. Like, it's a good emotional response, but, like, no one in the movie seems to behave like a normal human. Like, why would a friend go exactly. into the house? Call the fucking police. Are you retired? You have a phone, mate. That's all I could think of throughout the entire movie. Same. Um, Same and I, I know this is kind of like... I'm, I'm, I shouldn't talk about another movie when we're talking about this one, but like... I, mean, we I was afraid it would be like a situation like inside where like the cops come in and make the whole situation worse. So either way, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's a horror movie, people, so... See, for some reason, the bad guys always have powers. That's always the secret trick. If you can't explain why they're getting away with it, fucking magic. 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 Absolutely. Just like Jason Voorhees, he, he can teleport like in uh, he, he's Jason undead. X. Like he's he's undead also, he can also teleport. Exactly. He, make fun of he's, my man. he can also Jason. jump bodies. Dude, he yeah, can it's ch- just not cool because like it doesn't make any sense. Like one minute, you know, she's crawling on the ground, there's a woman behind her and she turns around, nope, she's gone. She yeah. went up a tree. I, every time I saw that, I was thinking of the woman like scuffling and jumping into the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. Oh, a horror like, movie! Like he, hmm? I, I don't yeah, crush on the movie too much though, because yeah, like same. there were some redeeming qualities for the there actors were. specifically. No, but you know, there was this point that really got me pissed off. So you know, there's this scene where he goes to the car to search for his phone and whatnot, and then there's this, there's like fingers at the back of his neck, and he turns, and there's no one there. I'm like, what yes. the fuck is going on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, if you put a lot of the, like, really, like, visually interesting parts, like the appearing and disappearing, the fingers and shit like that, it, it makes sense in a movie, but in real life, the moment you get there, it's like, how, though? How did that happen? Oh, what did you do? Uh, I, this is hold on, but have you guys one... ever had that feeling before in real life, where you get a little chill down your back and you think someone's there and they're no. not there? Because I've had that before. No. <laughs> yeah. That could be putting that into a video form. 
instead of like trying to show what that would feel like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I do? I just take my entire house, and if I see someone, I shoot them. Yeah. Uh, All right. That's Again, exactly. sounds easier than it might be. I mean, this I've never fired me. a no, gun. Okay, okay, honestly, like, at the start, what was super annoying to me, like, she was fucking scared shitless she was crying the guy comes in and and he says no there was no one there you're you're dumb oh my <laughs> gosh <laughs> it's because it's a horror movie like a... <laughs> yeah That's i the get problem, that man. but it's super annoying man. i didn't like her acting either i didn't like her acting in the beginning yeah. it was like she was so ditzy and so slow and so uh, i couldn't even figure out why he wanted to propose to her in the first place <laughs> I, I <laughs> well, it could have been years of knowing each other. Yeah, that, that normally is the situation. I would hope. <laughs> um, I mean, I honestly, I, I, honestly, I, I don't feel strongly about the movie at all. To be honest, like it, it was very I mediocre. I would say it, it wasn't was terrible. Funny. It wasn't yeah. great. Yeah. great. I thought the dialogue was very stiff. Like a lot of it. Oh, yeah. but the concept. What dialogue? The concept was great, though. The concept was great, fairly well done, but there was like a Execution decent amount of topping, talking at the start that was just like it all felt <laughs> stiff and awkward and like weird. Exactly, it was like a monologue. That wasn't a monologue. Yeah. No, that makes sense. It, it was. Yeah, just I, like, I really, I know there's not a lot you can do in like an an hour and a half's time but i really would have liked to understand the killer's motives a little bit more because they're oh we're gonna go in and kill you because it's fun you know well it's I, a little you know, juvenile it's the thing i don't think they actually have any motives or i think they're just like psychopaths they just want to hurt random people because there are people like that in the world i mean there's well, no, even the manson family which is reason. like kind of what it was based on like even the Manson family kind of had motives, even though they didn't make sense. Okay, their you know? motives was a fucking Beatles song called Helter Skelter. I don't think that counts. I'm just, I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would have been interesting. Saying, I mean, still better than not saying anything about it. I, I, I couldn't help but yeah. compare it to Hush too, because it's the same home invasion kind of scenario. Well, home invasion um, is uh, like. I get what you mean. Like comparing it to Hush, like the movie Hush. Yeah, they Hush, both like, show their so faces. I both mean, movies, they both show their face because they're not afraid. Wait, which movie? I completely missed we, it. We hush, see... Hush. Oh, Hush, yeah. We see but... their faces in the sequel, don't we? I was also... Mm, I was also uh, confused by the kids in the end. Why did the kids in the end go into the house? I was confused by that, to be honest. They're just the hospital, you said? Also... Curious. One, one and the thing... kids were not reacting to the dead bodies at all. They're just like, oh, what's this? Yeah, they get <laughs> close to the body. He gets oh, so oh, close. Oh, is that a new... It's almost like they're used to it. Okay, in fairness, they are yeah. little they are little Christian boys, alright? And I'm gonna go ahead on a limb and say probably Catholic. They have seen okay. some Let me terrible tell you, I was shit. a little Christian some... boy and I would have never done that. I would have pissed and shit my pants. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> okay. I figure, alright? I figure if you can handle a Catholic priest's penis, you can probably handle some dead bodies. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. <laughs> Some dead bodies, not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really not. <laughs> one thing I no, would like. No, he to... makes a valid point. Much. One thing I would like to comment on is Sarah. Sarah said, um, you know, in an hour and a half, uh, it would be nice if we got their motives. But there are some movies that do benefit from never showing their motives. Like uh, the original Halloween, there was basically no motives. He fucking kills and eats no a motive. dog for no reason, and then he just hunts down to teenagers for fun. And inside, there's basically not a real reason beyond i want your fucking baby and funny games they're just there to fuck with but, them but, i don't know it's, I don't know, it's like, like it's a question for me it's it's, it's, about, it's about suspension, suspension of disbelief like if i can believe that those people would, would do that, that. but in, in this, this case, case i didn't really because yeah. they like well, every, every time, time they had, they had some, some other, other kind, kind of interaction, interaction they were just, they were just standing there, there. <laughs> yeah so i guess that's kind of the reason why i was hoping for like a reason that interaction with the kids at the end like the kids looked creeped out as fuck but it was just a normal girl standing in front of them what what do they have yeah. clairvoyance <laughs> yeah. and i don't know I like, uh, those kids Mara bother me a lot it's, it's the but, yeah you're probably right about you you're probably I'm right sorry about children freak thing. me out all right that's that's just my thing <laughs> kids are weird that's kids said, are you're weird. probably right about the the catholic uh, being Catholic. Yeah, honestly, yeah go guys, back. we have to go back to that. It's like that old joke, you know. What does a child say after being raped by a priest? Um, nothing. He says nothing. He has a joke he says like that. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my. So, thank you. 
We're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hope so. That would be fabulous. Yeah, if we're getting uh, demonetized, that means I'm making money off this. <laughs> no, like near the end of the movie where the. What's your name? Who was it? Babyface? I think her uh, name was. Bellface. They're just yeah. riding Bellface. down. <laughs> they meet those, um, I think they were Mormon kids. And she yeah. grabs one of them and just said, uh, I'll make it easier next time. Mm. Well, that makes me think there's no motive. Yeah. I just think they're just doing it. See, I read somewhere that it was based off the be. Manson family murders, so maybe it's like a religious thing. I don't know. Religious thing? I don't know. There's no hint of anything religion in the movie. I don't think there are. Well, on the killers. I, I think at this point, the only parts of this movie that really did have me believing like part of what was going on was the fact that firstly they didn't really over explain anything so you know it wasn't mm -hmm. like this whole world of like you have to understand this and this and this and this like with uh lord yeah. of the rings you sit through that shit you have to know <laughs> these elves exist and all this shit and this shit i don't want to know about that I this movie gave it quick it. and the two things that got me were the fact that i don't know why the fuck these guys are doing it pretty scary it puts me into the position of the people and also why those people aren't getting married because they're two two blocks of wood that should not be married <laughs> right they, 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 they can't even talk <laughs> like they're human beings maybe like, you know, don't talk yeah, maybe them like i i <laughs> they're going they're on the couch yeah in the beginning Right when a dollface fucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're yeah. about to fuck. <laughs> yeah. Guys. Yeah. Guys. So it was so crazy. I'm my my mom walked in once during the whole movie. Can you guess when? That oh. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what happens, man? Yeah. That's life. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh. It's Are like... you winning, Sean? <laughs> 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 Uh, oh jeez, you know, I, I really have to say, I don't think I should suggest Cannibal Holocaust next, Jews. You might you might be fucked, honestly. No, it's good. It's fine. It's... Who who here remember? Who here has seen that movie? That's my question. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> I, I've heard about it. I've not seen it. I don't know if I really want. Didn't the guy you made he get arrested in he, this country? Um, oh my god, I love the story behind this. He had to prove. Yeah, he had to prove it was real. In fact, in court, they had to show how some of the special effects worked and stuff like that. And because of legal waivers and shit, they weren't able to get in a lot of the information until he was actually on trial. Wild. Fucking oh, now I know what you're talking about. Sits down what are you arrested like for? That. Just for... Murder. Murder. Rape. Uh, torture. They thought that they all, that the all that stuff actually happened. Yeah, they thought it was a fucking snuff. Not all that stuff. You know <laughs> you're good at... Right? It, it was not a snuff, snuff film. It's not a snuff film, and he almost got arrested. No, for you're ridiculous. good. No, you're a good director. When you make, you mean people think it's a snuff film. Yeah. It's really <laughs> not. That's how you know you're pretty good. Yeah. You should be proud of yourself. Either you're pretty good or you're very demented. <laughs> very disturbed. The difference. It's the same difference. Basically. Yeah, uh, Green Inferno tried doing the same thing, but at that point, everybody. I hated would... that movie. I thought it was all right. Green Inferno was kind of confusing. I, they had great special effects, and I did like the atmosphere, but I just I'm a little confused as to what the overall message was. I was okay. left scratching my head a bit. You're forgetting it was made by Eli Roth, as in the guy who made Hostel. There's not meant to be a message. It's meant to be oh, I'm going to make you feel sick. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah. Hostel was a good movie. Hostel yeah. tried to play off the the, the saw like yeah. kind of yeah. It definitely... I think yeah. on, throughout the whole movie there wasn't too much gore though, except for like that one eyeball scene that really did stick with me. Like, well, it's not all it's, it's not all about so gore either. So that was like the torture porn you know, kind of. Yeah. It's, it's era. torture porn exactly. Oh. Do you guys Has know anyone seen the alternate ending to that year. movie? Oh, no, did you say? Did anyone see the alternate no. ending to that movie? No. I didn't know there was okay. an Never seen the movie. Okay, the alternate ending to uh, Hostel, I think, does actually add some form of a story to it, because uh, the guy who pays to torture the main guy who survives, uh, instead of him getting murdered at the end, what happens is um, 
the main guy kidnaps the torturer's kid right at the end of the movie. And I thought that was just like, what the fuck? Why did I have to see that? This movie was doing good. Ah! Oh, they were at a train station. Wanna hear that? <laughs> you want to hear something really scary? Mm -hmm. What? Yes. Definitely. You hear that Belle Delphine is back? Yeah. Absolutely Yeah, terrifying. that's really scary. Just when I thought 2020 couldn't get any worse. <laughs> I've seen her video. Maybe that just makes it better, actually. It's yeah. scary, but it makes it better. I mean, I, I don't think it's scary. No, I just no, think I'm, it's... I'm not a sense, It's a little so... scary. You have to admit, it's a little scary. I mean, Are you scared? I'm, I'm yes, just glad she's like poor. Are you pissing your pants right yeah. now? I am. I'm so scared that if my husband comes in, he's going to say that there's no one there. <laughs> uh, I'm honestly just glad she left porn up at this point because she is. Uh -oh. She. Oh. I've felt demonetized. So demonetized. Did you get trolled, buddy? Pornhub titties asshole and cunt. Thank you all for listening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 we, we, we you had a great recording session. We had a great favorite thing one. about Pornhub, guys. <laughs> this is fun. Ever make the money off of this? <laughs> oh God, no, we're not making money off of this. But people can hear this on can. multiple platforms. Oh, yeah. sure. no, you'll <laughs> never make money off guys, of this. Look up look Ryan Creamer on Pornhub. Porn that is my goal. I never want to be able Something to make money I... off this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you literally ran naked through. A, whoops. Yeah. And naked through a park. <laughs> so there's no way you'll ever we're make. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Damn. When you know you've peaked in life. When you're old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and things that can haunt you when you're old. Honestly? Uh, no, these are things you look back on and you're like, wow, I had a good life. And then I'm going to remember that part and remember a like, little less. What the fuck was going through my head? I hope I can <laughs> access like YouTube in a couple... I'm only going to live till I'm like 40, so just, just like, you know, 10 or so more years. <laughs> It's a great goal. Just a little while longer. Then, well, I don't know how to count like, him. You and you live to uh, like 18. Like, really like <laughs> I love Ryan Kruger. He's hilarious. <laughs> He's verified gamers. Exactly. Oh, wait, what's his name? I'm going to look. Ryan Kramer. Ryan He's fucking amazing. I love him. Oh my gosh, of course that's his name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I, I think at this point, um, <laughs> this may just be yeah. a conversation. And I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Dr. Creamer. Dr. Creamer. <laughs> you know... Has anyone seen Oculus? Uh, seen what? Hmm? No. Oculus. It was a Oculus? Where... Karen Gillan. This guy's a bigger troll than Belle Delphine. I like his yeah. videos, though. They always tell you what you're getting. Always. And I love that. <laughs> I don't know who he is, but I trust him. Yeah. yeah. He's got a trusty face. He's, I, he's a Korea and I do not have sex at a hotel. Black, two black men and I enjoy another one another's company. Yeah, I I saw Oculus. It had Karen Gillan in it, right? The yeah, I hated that movie. Really? Oh, here's <laughs> one. Uh... It was too sad. Oh. I hated it. Guys, did, uh, I, did anyone I have one or... to boost our self esteem. You know what I mean? Uh, a room full of guys take turn complimenting you. <laughs> Did anyone else here go watch The Shape of Water thinking it was going to be a horror movie and then it wasn't? Oh no, I was no, expecting yes, porn. I, I was expecting <laughs> hardcore fish porn. I was so Shape mad. Shape of Water. What is this? <laughs> What's oh, the yeah, flavor thought... of water? Does anyone know? It's 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 good. I can just tell I thought that was a horror movie mm. too. Yeah. Hmm. Why can't there be a horror romance where a horror... It's like actual horror just falls in love with a guy or a girl. All romance is horror. So yeah, I mean, if, if you keep that in mind, if you say it's great, it's pretty terrifying. I think a romance horror movie would be Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, straight up, one hundred percent. Or the room. That's another good one. Mm -hmm. I never watched that. that. Basically, oh, is porn. I think just a little bit. It is not true. Is this it's is bullshit. I did not hit. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> hi, Mark. What's a story, Mark? Oh I want to see that, that in a movie a theater that sometime. Movie That'd be fun. Be a classic. Be. I don't even care. Oh, for real, yeah. I want to go back in time so I can go to the premiere of the room. That's, <laughs> that's, all. that's all I want to do. I, that would, that I just wanted to happen near where I live for once. Imagine a room premiere in Florida. How dangerous the implications of that would be. I think, honestly, 
everybody there will <laughs> probably, probably be able to sell you bath salts if you're interested. Guaranteed. No, we would all maul each other. Like, yeah. <laughs> for real, a bunch of sweaty Floridians this watching the room. Flooding Did you just say Floridians? Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Floridians. <laughs> it's that a is... word. I didn't it's make a... it up. I'm not that smart. Uh, I, I don't know. Wait, it's like I the... have a question. What's the issue with Belda Thing being back? I don't know. It's just a meme. I don't she, think anyone People don't like her. It. I think Sam's don't like her. Uh, not Sam's, but people who are against Sam's wait, don't wait, like Sam's? her because... <laughs> Sam's. That's, why why you I mean what sane person would sell bath water? I mean I will have you know I sold my own pee. Being intelligent are two different things. It's obviously very smart to do that cuz uh, idiots but to remind you I did offer to sell my pee on the internet. Guys, if anyone's seen the Hunger Games 2 when they get the blisters because of the gas and then they wash them off with water, that's the water bell Delfino is selling. <laughs> oh my god. Ryan Kramer, Ryan Kramer is offering $100 to tell, a video, tell you saying I love you. So I take, so I, so I buy that? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely should spend that much money on that. Perfect plan. Sense. Alright, well. Right, 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 right. This guy's a legend. He really here. is. This, this, he this... troll. <laughs> This started to digress, I think. Uh, <laughs> very fast. <laughs> Digressing very fast. Alright, so. Ryan. To wrap this up, this was <laughs> basically podcast 1408. I had fun. Episode 1, this yeah, was pretty fun. good. This was fun. How long has it been? It has been. Guys, okay. may I even say it was fog? This was a little minutes. bit too much fun. I had a little <laughs> bit too much fun. Thanks for listening. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back.